We see all sides of life on this program, from acts of immense kindness to behaviour like what happened to this 80-year-old blind man, so despicable that you're left despairing about human nature. He was particularly smooth talking, Michael. Mm. Oh, he said, I'll take you up. I'll run you up in a truck. So he was waiting for you out here to yeah. get the money out. That's right. And they're not just crooks, these people are cowards. 80-year-old Alex McNish is completely blind, but still knows his way around the kitchen. Wife Mary moved into a nursing home five years ago, but that hasn't stopped Alex living independently. Yeah, I look after myself and uh, I'm uh, a very basic cook, you know, a bachelor's cook. He can handle a kitchen knife pretty well, but handling ruthless con men at the front door is much harder. This is where the sales pitch was. That's right. Please. Alex knew to beware of travelling con men, but made the mistake of showing interest in having his roof restored. And smooth-talking Michael Connors was off with an unbelievable deal. If you had met Michael, you would have known. You would, uh, he, was, uh, he was a talker. I had not told them to start. They just sort of started. Distracted by health issues with his wife and now feeling locked into the deal, all Alex felt he could do was bargain on the price. Reluctantly settling on $7,000, these callous con men then drove him to the bank to, to lock in payment way. up front in cash. So he was waiting for you out here to yeah. get the money out. That's right. How anyone could approach a blind man and steal $7,000 off a blind man, take him down to the bank. You know, I mean, that could be his life savings. You know, I've never seen anything lower than that. Fair Trading Minister Anthony Roberts says his investigators believe this is the same gang that targeted Beryl and Roy Jenkins in a nearby Sydney street, ripping up their driveway without their consent. 25-year-old UK citizen James O'Connor was arrested by police at the Jenkins house the next day. Get the f camera on my face! His passport was seized, but there are now warrants for his arrest, along with the gang's alleged ringleader, smooth-talking Michael Connors. You've brought shame on your nation, you've brought shame on your family, you're a coward, you're a crook, right, and we'll be using the full force of the law. Every government agency is out there now pursuing you. We will hunt you down. It's believed the men may now be in Melbourne. If you see them, call the National Travelling Con Men Hotline. Investigators are still piecing together just how many people were stung by this gang when it was marauding through these streets. They believe at least 50000 and possibly as much as $100,000 was swindled in just three weeks. After her nasty run-in with the con men, Beryl Jenkins had a visit from someone she calls an angel. Oh, it's the love of God, I love you. <laughs> After seeing what happened to their driveway, Frank Mara from Guncrete lined up his workers and suppliers to donate their time and products to lay a brand new one. What do you think of what Frank and the boys are doing oh, here this morning? I think they're wonderful people. They make up for the bad ones. Don't they? Oh, they're wonderful. He's a wonderful person. The old driveway was just two strips, but now it's full size thanks to this team of Good Samaritans. What do you think of the driveway? It's a big improvement. Oh, yes, terrific. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly worth all the hassle. <laughs> but around the corner, Alex McNish's roof hasn't even been cleaned, let alone restored. The heartless gang making off with his seven grand, leaving their buckets and a paintbrush behind. They've painted a few tiles, I understand, which are, so I'm told, is not really what the uh, restored, restored colour should be. Uh, so I just, I just don't know. I have no idea. Being completely blind, he lives in a world of constant darkness. He was trying to fix the roof for his ill wife. What, what does your wife want done with the roof? Well, it was to restore it to the, um, to the colour, its original colour. There's really no place for these kind of guys no. in Australia, is there? No, none at all. None at all. Back to Ireland or somewhere, but God help the Irish, so they get back there. Terrible story, isn't it? And if you or your company are in a position to help restore Alex's roof, please get in touch. A full list of the Good Samaritans who helped out Beryl and Roy is on our website.